Hey everyone, as promised, we're back to show you how this repaired sofa is going to look once we coat it with our new product using Bond and Flex to repair, and we're going to coat it with a coat of Finish All in color truffle. It's a dark chocolate brown. It's really close to the color here, but we are going to have to probably paint the whole sofa minus the back in a few places. It's really not hidden or really not in sight, but it matches good, but not good enough. So I'll let you be the judge of that. We already got one cushion on the end painted so you can see what that looks against the other and we'll just start right here on this corner this as you can see has a lot of the bond and flex product already applied to it i put that on yesterday afternoon and because i totally built back this whole entire corner this was all wood exposed there's no leather here torn all the way down in here i put this back the bond and flex is a very very thick uh glue and it is a flexible glue slash bonding agent that will allow you uh, to build back it's also sandable and paintable so after I put it on I went in and just smoothed it with my finger I dipped my finger in in some water a little bowl of water and just smoothed it out with my finger so I didn't have a lot to remove and now I can go in and just lightly sand this some more and get this down to a paintable surface and that's what we're going to do right here I've already got my paint going uh, using truffle which is a gorgeous gorgeous rich dark brown got a lot of black to it and we're going to just start painting right here, and I can show you already what this is going to look like. Now, it may require that we go back and put some more on, but you can paint, you can put the bond and flex right over where you've already put in some of the materials, so it's going to bond to itself and allow you then to kind of see where you're at in the repair and if you might need some more. So that's the great thing. I mean, if honest, honesty says, you know, hey, it needs a little more here, but look at that. Already, this was something that... Now, a dog had chewed on this corner. Right? I don't know if a it dog like had or what, but it, it was totally... Had she had put tape over this whole area. So when I pulled it away, it was either from, you know, being stored somewhere, something chewed it or whatever, but it was very, very bad. So um, you can see right there, it's going to be not bad. It's definitely livable, and, of course, we can add more to make it look better. Now, let's switch over here to the other area because I want to show you that, and I'm also going to show you we go in the middle? right here right on right this here. chew area. Right, this right. was another area that was totally missing, uh, missing part of the arm and had some threads that were broken and so on, need to be trimmed away still, but I'm just going to go ahead and touch this because this had, this had totally been chewed apart. And yesterday, again, I put this on, so this has had time to dry, so you can hardly see, actually, the material dry semi-transparent so you can see already that that's definitely livable mm -hmm. um, this was dog scratches I put this on and sanded it I'm gonna sand it a little bit more just to make sure we got everything sticking up you can see right there already those little marks those are the actual dog scratches cat scratches whatever it was but we filled those up filled those little tiny holes up and removed those little burrs that were sticking out and of course now finish all is gonna flatten that on down and totally give you an instant repair I mean, girls, boys, if you have tears and rips, missing material where you've been told you have to patch and so on, you don't have to do any of that. This product will fix your damage and severe, severely damaged pieces. <laughs> now, let's go right here to the uh, area that we patched, and we, this one's a little different. This was totally different. This was an area that it looked like the owner of the sofa had maybe spilled something here that was etching and it ate into the actual coating that's on leather and the permanent coating. And you can see back here that that had happened because it actually bleached a spot into the material, but here it had, it had totally removed the coating on the leather. I put on the Bond and Flex on here, took my moistened finger and just rubbed it right into, massaged it into basically to the skin of the leather and now it's created a nice surface, so let's see how that paints. Now this stuff is genuine leather, right? It is genuine leather, but now you can also do that on bonded surfaces mm -hmm. or where you've got peeling and so on and where it's wanting to let go, where it's already cracking and starting to delaminate. This will be a way to go back under there and rebond those areas. And then if you have peeling areas, remove that loose and totally fill it in with this product. So um, look at that. You can already see, so hopefully we can get this on to where you can come back and see what this is gonna look like as it dries, but you can see already that the finish is gonna match. I don't have an unlevel surface there. Now, we are going to also show you how to use our true applicator as a way to quickly paint your couch. So, so a couple questions real quick. Sure, Crystal, ask. we're using Truffle is the color name of yep. the finish all paint. And Jackie, I believe it was. I'm look at this. Back. 
Look at this. This is going to be, girls, this is going to be dynamite. Jackie wanted to know if you could use this on material that had been frayed. Uh, sure, you can. If you, you know, as long as it's not a textured material, even if it is, it'll paint it. But you may get some stiffening on a um, velour or anything that's got some texture to it. Just know that you may get some stiffening. If it's a smooth cotton fabric, it'll paint it fabulous. I think she's asking about the bonding. The bonding what? Sure. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sure you can, but just remember it's not going to dry totally clear. It's going to dry with a haze or a little bit of a white to it. So this is so easy, girls, putting this on mm -hmm. using our truth applicator. Mm -hmm. What an amazing way to do mm -hmm. this because of the wrinkles and the leather and all the different textures that you're going over. This makes mm -hmm. it so darn easy. Look at this. I can totally redo this mm -hmm. couch in a matter of minutes yeah. using the applicator. Lots less tiresome on my hand, too. Now you Point still out. need your brush to get in all the grooves. Yeah, right? you'll need the brush. Definitely need the brush. But boy, does this make it go oh, on yeah. great. And then you can kind of stipple that out if you want to leave a little more like here. This is not, you know, because this isn't leather, uh, or not not that it isn't leather, it's sealed here where I put this bonded flex on this area. So it's wanting to uh, paint differently. So I'll just stipple that on there and let the paint bond right there. So, Patty, this would work great on cat scratches. If you catch the earlier part of the video, we just covered some dog scratches, so. Now, let me, let me show you this, too. This is an area that was totally chewed through, a hole here and a hole right on the other side. So the dog really liked this little flap on both sides of the couch. But I just took the Bond Flex, filled in the hole. You can still see mm -hmm. some of the hole here. The stuffing was leaching out of these holes. So I painted that. You can still see it. I could fill in more and clean that up a little more if I want. But just to let you know, you don't have to patch anything. You can patch it with Bonded Flex. So, pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. So, let's keep going. And I'm gonna get this whole thing done. Mm -hmm. Where are you going, going now, that cushion? I'm just going everywhere. I know, I'm having a hard time <laughs> keeping up with you. The roving um, camera girl, what do you do here? What do you do to get started? All that good here. Um, Barb wants to know, would the Bonded Flex smooth a lightly rough material? Not a velour, it's more of like a cotton weave cotton weave. It would probably work if you just say the word cotton. Normally you're in good hands, but once you start getting into anything that's woven, that makes me question it. But again, it will paint it. Will you like the texture afterwards? I don't know on the fabric unless it's a smooth cotton. That I do know works. But anything outside of vinyl and leather, um, you know, just make sure it's smooth if you don't want the stiffening. And then Misty's asking, can the Bond and Flex be used on leather car seats that have the heaters inside of sure. them? Sure. Yeah. So I've Misty, we did a live where Paula repaired my seat actually in my car. Um, are those the, heated? They are heated. Yeah. Yes. And I haven't, of course, I haven't had the heaters on, but I don't <laughs> anticipate any problems. Heat will not affect this product, nor cold. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, where your seat's going to tear in your car is going to be on the sides, so those aren't really usually the part that heats up, anyways. It's usually the part that's. Uh, where your body's touching. Yeah, so. People ask about for boat seats and heat and sun and so on. It's not It's not going to be affected by heat and sun. It is still going to be elastic and maintain that. Mm -hmm. Hi, Denise. Thank you, ladies, for being on with us today. So can you see a big improvement? Mm -hmm. What do we think? Are we excited about this product? Has anyone ordered it yet? I'm going to tell them about the kit, too. Oh, uh -huh. So this product does come in a kit. Um, or separate, it's up to you. Or separate, yeah, yeah, if you already have your finished all paint. So, oh, her seat is split in the middle. Her son used a sharp object. I yep. still think you'll be okay, Misty. I don't think you'll have any problems there. Um, the kit comes with the eight ounce of the Bond & Flex, a 16 ounce pint of the paint, your choice of any of the 12 finished all colors, and the little um, scraper applicator to spread the Bond & Flex. And then you also get a Syntec chalk brush to apply your finish all paint. So, and that saves you $17 from the original, you know, if you bought all of those items individually. And then of course, I think get you'd this. be missing out if you're not adding on uh, the true applicator, if you're doing any kind of leather or vinyl here. I mean, seriously, this was, I poured this myself. Mm -hmm. This was less than a pint. Mm -hmm. I've used half of the half that I poured. So I've painted this entire couch, which mm -hmm. I haven't painted the back yet. Mm -hmm. four, four ounces, maybe, mm -hmm. and there's a lot soaked up in this sponge, so I've got a long way to go to empty it out so far. So 
So Sharon right. wants to know, how do you get the creases in between the seats and the back and the armrests? Use this, and if you need to prop it, use some plastic drink bottles, water bottles, what have you, and just get in there and hold them apart. Mm -hmm. But the paint's not sticky. This is not latex paint, um, so it's not going to give you that mm -hmm. sticky touch and peeling and all that when it sticks together. Mm -hmm. So you can just, like here, mm -hmm. these are touching. I just rub the sponge in there. Mm -hmm. So like here, um, Sharon, you could just pop a soda bottle in there to, to kind of hold those open if you need to. Yeah. Um, but as you can see, there. this one has some material back here, so it's really not too bad to get to. It just depends on how your sofa is. Yeah. Uh, Denise wants to know, what is the cleanup process for the bond and flex? Uh, soap and water. Just put it in the sink. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. wash it right off your tools, mm -hmm. your hands, anything. So, yeah. not a biggie. Comes right off. As long as it's wet. Just like anything dry. else, don't let it harden on there for yeah. overnight. It ain't coming off. <laughs> The good thing is the little applicator we sell for $1.99. So if by chance you do, you can always order another one. And of course, put the lid back on your Bond & Flex. Um, you don't want to let that yeah, dry and, and out. And while you're using it, cover it too, because it mm -hmm. starts to dry pretty quick. You don't mm -hmm. want it to skin over on you while you're, while you're waiting. So here's my delaminated area. Look at that. You can't even tell, especially after that's going to dry. You can't even see that that's been repaired there. Nope. Not at all. Looks there great. So, um, let's see. Teresa says, do you cut away loose pieces of leather or vinyl yes. before you add the bond and flex? Yes, cut it away because it's much easier. You know, girls, what it makes me think of, I don't know how much drywall repair you've done in your life, but it's exactly like feeling drywall. And every time I've done it, that's exactly what I think. If I was going to fill a hole that somebody punched in your wall or whatever, you want to remove everything you can feel because it's not a benefit to keep that piece sticking out there. Get it away. And just start and then you can smooth this product down super smooth with your smoothing tool and take your glove dip it in a little water and then hand smooth it because that gets all the lines out and it doesn't um, remove the product or move it around your fingers will slip across it and just kind of glide right over it and makes it so easy to sand away then and your half you, half of the work is already done if you'll smooth it with your glove i used a spoon before but really my hand worked so much better because I could move around the contours much easier and it didn't drag the product around. So that was a great thing. So this couch is done. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Woo! It was pretty this fast. This is a workout. Um, Chelsea wants to know, uh, would this um, Bond & Flex work for a ripped outdoor cushion? Absolutely. It will work on anything that's ripped. You know, it's, now here's the thing. It will, it will bond anything and cover up in a rip in any type of fabric. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, how then do you conceal the damage that you or the repair? How do you do that? So you have to be willing then to either paint it and cover it. And is is it, if it's a outdoor cushion, what type of cushion is that? Is that smooth fabric? If it is, you'll be satisfied with the repair and the cover of the paint. If you don't like the, uh, or maybe you have a textured a sofa that a dog's chewed up or something, and then you have to paint the whole couch, you may not like how it's going to feel. It's going to stiffen that up. But if it's vinyl or leather or smooth some sort of a cotton fabric you can make the repair or if it's threadbare like on the arms you've got a cotton chair you know those don't wear that well you could repair it paint it and it would be great in every way and finish all can totally change the color of your couch so oh, yeah. if you don't have one of the colors uh, that matches your sofa which is going to be difficult there's so many brands of sofas out there um, and so many dye lots and all that good stuff it's near impossible for us to have a color that matches everything out there so the good thing is finish all is a full coverage paint and you can easily change the color of your sofa so although we use truffle on this one which is a similar color to the original color you could easily make this sofa gray yeah or red or denim blue as quick as we painted that you could have just changed that to a mm -hmm. color another color mm -hmm. totally change the color this has literally been impossible prior to this paint. So we're talking about two amazing products. Finish mm -hmm. all is an amazing way to change the color of your leather and vinyl easily in a couple coats. Mm -hmm. uh, the Bond & Flex is, makes this an even greater product, especially if you're planning on doing that. If you have a damage, if you have a cat, if you have a scrub from removing it or a hole or ink mark or you know whatever has happened to it through the years. So you can make old furniture look brand new. And like I said, this lady gave us this couch because she didn't think anybody would want it, and nobody took it for several days, even over the weekend. So I, when I found it, even when it was for free, it for was free. pretty rough. Nobody wouldn't take it for free, but I thought, you know, I'm gonna take it for free because it's not too far away. So we took it for free, and I'll be darned, it was a great couch, and just had some abuse from animals and who knows what. So, 
That's Diane, it will work on uh, man-made leather, yes. Yes, just the same. It will mm -hmm. work on man-made leather. So you don't have to worry. The only thing you have to do is get the product, of course, and get yourself some of this dollar fingernail polish remover. It's a non-acetone fingernail polish remover. And the reason that you choose to get this is because you don't know what kind of oils or cleaners or silicones or that kind of thing that have been put on to the leather remove type products contain beeswax and all that stuff and just hair and oils on arms and so on. You want to remove all that. So non-acetone fingernail polish remover does to leather what stripper does to wood. It removes all of those surface emollients and everything that's been applied to the piece. So what you do, get a good cloth rag, get a good terry cloth rag just like this and clean it up. You'll get all sorts of nice debris on your rag. You'll even take off some of the even, even the color will come off and that's okay because you're going to recolor it back. So it'll redeposit the dirt and the goo and the, all that cleaner on your rag. So get it good and clean. Paint it. That's all you gotta do. And really scrub the areas where your body touches. Yeah. So head rest, arm rest, foot rest. Really, really give those a good thorough scrubbing. That's all you gotta do. And then just put the paint on. So cleaning is harder than any part of this. Just mm -hmm. clean it and go. That's it. So you're gonna have a brand new couch. And I'm sure Bobby's gonna be extremely happy to get mm -hmm. this one. Hopefully he'll see it. So, yeah, hey Bobby. If not, I guess he'll here. see it when he comes in in the morning. There you go. We're giving this to one of the employees. So. Mm -hmm. Oops, here's back Look at that. It blended so well, couldn't even see that. Uh huh. What do you think, Craig? <laughs> he thinks he'll be that. That's what he does. <laughs> okay, so even this huge repair, look at this. Come back and catch uh, this here before we go. Okay. Just so they can see that. A little lovely. I mean, guys, this was remember, whole, this was wood yeah, exposed here. Totally down to the wood. She had tape over that area. And the wood was gnawed on by something. <laughs> it was splintered and everything. Big dog, else. evidently. So, here's another thing we haven't really talked about yet, but Bond and Flex actually, um, if you have some left over after your leather or vinyl repair, actually makes a great little wood filler, too. Yeah, it sure does. So, it's just got uses for days. So if you've got peeling veneer or something that needs to be repaired, you can totally do that with this it product. Look, these top cushions are dry now. See, you can see one little wet spot there. See the difference? So it could probably use one more little coat or a little few little touch-ups where the lighter original color was coming through. Yeah, you just can get back and look at it, but this is a pretty darn good match to that yeah. other color. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of uh, mottled uh, coloring yeah. too makes it look more natural makes it more uh, like bomber jacket kind of. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, not to confuse things, but we have another product called Relove, and Relove is one of our number one selling products, and it is for a, keeping that two-tone look, but it only works on all leather. A lot of people don't know if they have all leather mm -hmm. or if they have a vinyl slash leather product, mm -hmm. so it does require that you clean it, mm -hmm. and then it won't dry if you're putting it on vinyl, so it may eat up vinyl. So mm -hmm. that's a reason that we have this product that works on leather or vinyl, and then Relove to give you that bomber jacket semi-transparent covering. It's a fabulous product, but only for all leather. So there's a little difference there. Two totally different looks that you get out of those products. So check it out on our website, and you can do that by jumping onto htpaint.com and join our mailing list, because we have a lot of great offers going on all the time there. And you can stay up with us and see all of our videos and our content there and find us on social media. We'd love to have you follow us on Instagram and YouTube and lots of places that we share all kinds of videos. So check it out. We hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you soon. Good night. Bye, ladies. Bye.